I'm Yen. I'm Fiona. It's been a hot minute. Welcome back to Beauty and the Geek 2020 edition. We are back. <laughs> and in this episode, we're going to try six different long-lasting foundation in the luxury category. I'm going to tell you which performs the best. I'm so excited. So let's get started. But before we do that, subscribe and hit the bell button and we'll see you soon. Okay, so we are back with this episode. As you can see, there are six foundation here. Yeah. And probably this is one of the hardest episodes for me, but not for her. Uh, <laughs> I know, this is one that I've been like waiting for the longest time. Mm. So I think the real challenge for you is um, him firstly being a gentleman, um, has not really used foundation before. Uh, I'm sure you have a new perspective in terms yes. of how foundation can work for men. Yes, so yes. shall we begin maybe with talking mm. about um, the kind of um, skin the skin type. Yeah, skin type that yeah. we have first. Yeah. So mine is generally uh, oily skin, or some people would call it combination mm. outside is oily but inside slightly mm. dehydrated uh, t-zone extremely oily mm. sometimes i get a little bit oil getting into my eyes midday so that's how oily it is okay. so i guess most of the guys uh would probably face the same problem as okay. me yeah okay. you so for me uh i'm a classic normal to combination skin so i get oily at the t-zone um but uh Pretty much, I don't have um, any major issue when it comes to oil secretion, so there's just a T-zone. Mm. Uh, I have some spots that I will cover, uh, whether is it with uh, building up the coverage of the foundation that I'm already using, or I would use concealer. So these are just some of the concerns that I have. Okay, so yeah. we'll start off with two of the foundation that we're wearing today, mm. uh, with hers first. Yes, <laughs> so as you can tell, colour matching, it's perfect right <laughs> yes. i don't look like i have a white cast on my face so yes so the one that i'm using today it's shu yuemura it's called the unlimited breathable long lasting foundation so if you look at the description of the foundation itself uh, it says unlimited breathable so the word breathable got me really excited because i've i think i tried my first foundation when i was 16 mm. so um you know if you go back <laughs> X number of years. I don't, I don't want to pull off the same trick again. Yeah, I know, right? Let's not. But you... So, technology has advanced. Has changed, yes. has changed. So, I was really excited when I hear the word breathable. And true enough, when I applied this foundation, I was pleasantly surprised okay. um, that it really felt very, very light on the skin and it was breathable throughout the whole day. Mm -hmm. So, if you talk about it being long-wearing, I would give it about a 4 at the moment, 4 okay. out of 5. Um, it lasted about 16 hours for me. That's a typical day for me. As you wear it throughout the day, you will find that you look even better than the moment you step out of the house. And I think that's really important because most of us, I mean, we won't bring a foundation out, right? Yeah. So you really want to make sure that you look good throughout the whole day. Yes. Um, so that's for long wearing. Um, coverage wise, I would say that one pump goes a long way. Mm. I can use um, throughout my whole face uh, with a damn beauty bun uh, bunch. <laughs> Damn beauty sponge, Damn. yes. Um, and then for oxidation, doesn't quite change much for me. Okay. So anyway, going back to what I was talking about coverage, I would give it about a four. So long wearing four, mm. coverage about four. And then for its oxidation, oxidation. didn't change for me. So I it's 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 a good one. So five out of five for me. Yeah, okay. so that's for shoe. Mm, so yeah. I tried the shoe as well. I totally agree with you in mm. terms of the longer you wear, the better it looks on your skin. It's definitely one of the lightest out of the six today. Yeah. Uh, in terms of long wearingness, I tried it for one full day. I think at the end of the day, I really like how the skin looks. Mm. It doesn't look tired, uh, yeah. which I truly appreciate. So in terms of long wearingness, uh, well, actually I can give it a four and a half. Eh. You give five, is it? I give four. Oh, okay, I can give it four and a half. Because mm. for guys, right, we really like the lighter... Uh, foundation. Mm. I mean, if you are oily skin like me, mm. uh, but if you are dry skin, my concern is this one might be a bit too too. Uh, it's not as moisturizing or hydrating for you. Okay, so if you are dry mm. skin, I would recommend if you're using this foundation to prep, to prep your skin yeah, first. Yeah. yeah, and you need to work fast with this one. So work in sections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one long wearing, uh, definitely four point five mm. for me. In terms of coverage, this is one of the lightest. But uh, I guess if you have very severe acne scars yeah. or, you know, dark eye rings, you still need to conceal a little bit. But yeah. generally, if your skin is healthy, it's just that the colour-wise a little bit off or, you know, mm. stuff like that, or decolorization. I think this basically can does, uh, this does most of the trick. Yes. Yeah, so in terms of coverage, um, I give it a 3.5. 
five. Definitely okay. one of the lightest in terms of okay. coverage here. Okay. Um, the last part, oxidation. Okay, when I bought this, uh, I was sharing with her that the shoe beauty consultant actually advised maybe, maybe on a buy just a tone lighter in case at the end of the day it gets uh. a little bit darker. Uh, probably because I have a lot more oil secretion okay. that interacts with the foundation a little okay. bit so it changes the color uh, it didn't change the color which is gray which i appreciate because some foundation mm. it turns gray which looks really bad yeah. but this one to me right it's just that the color turns slightly uh, warmer ah, okay it didn't okay. turn dead gray you know flat gray yes, yes, yeah so yes. i appreciate that even though it's oxidizing mm -hmm. but it didn't got to a point where i hate it okay. so you know oxidation i give it a 3.5 some I mean, probably if you are a guy and if you are very fair, then mm. that might be very obvious. Okay. But I think guys very fair, very rare. La. We are in Singapore, not in Korea anyway. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, but it's still a very high performing foundation for yes, me. Yes, it is. It, it is, is, definitely. Yeah. yeah, so that is shoe. Okay, let's mm. move on to yours. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing Dior, which is Forever yeah. range. So under this range, um, there are two different variants. One is the Skin Glow. The other one is the Forever, which is kind of like a matte mm. finish. Mm. Uh, so I kind of like this. One of my favorite of the, uh, all the six because, first of all, um, the very first foundation I tried is actually Dior. Mm. Uh, I actually slept in it. I was sharing with her. <laughs> I net Someone slept in yeah. the foundation. By the way, girls, <laughs> do not do that. Always remove your makeup. Yeah. <laughs> so I fall asleep <laughs> over the weekend. I drew, I perspire a little bit when I um, nap. So when I wake up, it looks pretty intact. Uh, and I really like that at the end of the day, the colour still stay for me. So uh, in terms of this uh, long wearing, mm. I give it a for for me um the only thing that probably for guys who are extremely oily in terms of skin yeah. um, you might need to dab once or twice in a day but for me right times did you dab? i dab once okay. in the midday decent yeah decent yeah. but i only dab the, the t zone the which t -zone. is your, your yeah yeah and the thing is yeah. that i actually appreciate the kind of glow mm. okay i secrete a bit of oil together with the glow it looks like it's still, glass skin yeah it looks like glass skin mm. it doesn't look like okay. oh my god you look like uh you perspire or whatsoever yeah. so okay. uh, it really depends the degree of of glow that you like yes. yeah so yes. you just dab accordingly yes so yes. long wearingness um Okay, like I give it a 3.5 to 4. It mm. really ranges that depending on your skin type. Okay. In terms of coverage, definitely also one of the lighter ones, I would say. Uh, but definitely not as light as shoe. Yeah. So if shoe is a 3.5 for coverage, then maybe it's a 4. That means you can still cover certain mm. uh, light marks and yeah. such. The uh, oxidation, uh, the color didn't really run for me. Mm. Um, it stays pretty much the same. Uh, interestingly, mm, yeah, this one maybe I will give a four for oxidation okay. like this is decent color at the yeah. end of the day you have to take note that we are giving this review based on our own preference mm. as well as our own skin type yeah. so now i'm gonna proceed with dior mm. i will say this girl you look <laughs> cute are you life-changing i'm sorry no um i will dive straight into this okay uh radiance Yes, when you first apply, it looks really nice. Like you have glass skin and you look into the mirror, you're like, oh my God, you had a good night. You know, you slept well. Um, halfway through the day, uh, you can find that the setting powder begins to sort of, I don't know, float on top of your skin. Doesn't sit really well. And um, if you have the habit of wearing shades or if you wear specs, you would have like a little mark if you remove your shades and your, your specs, right? The foundation actually collects around the area, mm. which is a first for me out of all the foundation that I've tried. So I feel for long wearing, this would be prob probably a 2.5 for me. Um, for uh, its coverage, it is also about 2.5 because, I mean, to be honest, if you're radiant foundation and you want to be long lasting, I think this is something that you're kind of... It's, it's tough, you mm, know, it's mm. tough to kind of balance um, two things. So I will say this, if you are um, very young skin, I mm. think, with not much of a problem, no dark spots, and you want something that makes you look fresh, mm. I think this is the one to go for. And if you drive, this is good. If you take MRT, no, because <laughs> I walked in this, okay? I walked in this the other day because I parked very far away. And then by the time I got back into the car... It's like, okay, it's not working. <laughs> so I will say, um, yeah, if you grab, this is great for you. <laughs> okay. um, if you're going for an event night out and you just want to look fresh and it's only for two hours having that special dinner, can. Okay. But throughout the whole day, go to the gym. No. So yeah. And then oxidation, 
I can't tell, like, unfortunately, because it's like by midday, right? Mm. It, it starts to change. Okay. So I would say it's not a fair one because it kind of didn't, I couldn't see it till the end of the day. Okay. So I would say from where I begin in the morning to about midday, I would say this is maybe about a 2.5. So for me, mm. this is not the one that I would buy, buy. again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> but I love you, Dior. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to the third foundation, it's gonna be. The third one, or rather my second in this case, it's gonna be, I will say this, okay? People, listen to your mother! <laughs> because this is a brand called Estee Lauder. For the mother. Not, well, I used to think, I must say, I used to think this is for my mother because my mother is a huge fan. And I've never used Estee Lauder products before because I think it's a mother's brand. Mm. So I had the opportunity to try out this one, which is called the Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And there were a lot of rave reviews about it. So I decided I'm going to give it a shot. So when I first got this, it claims to be double wear, long lasting, right? Long lasting or long wearing, this for me is a 5 out of 5. Yay! <laughs> and you know why? This one, I tell you, when you apply it in the morning and when you come back at night, it's as if you've done nothing throughout the whole day, girl. Really? Yeah, yeah you can go for hot yoga and this, you come out, perfect, nothing smudges. Uh, 5.5. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5. Yeah, scale. 5. 5. Uh, 5 out of I think this one could break the scale, break the internet, okay? Um, so, and then in terms of coverage, so if you're a girl, that, or if you're someone that has got pores, mm. if you're dealing with um, acne scars, if you're dealing with um, decoloration, if you're dealing with um, all of the above, okay? This would be the one for you. Mm -hmm. You would walk out as if you have a filter on your face all the time, and you look flawless all the time. Oxidation, I would say maybe about a 4.5. I mean, you don't look like you're a color different, um, but you mm. still look fresh. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's a 5 out of 5 kind of thing. So I tried this as well. Yeah. This one can almost be an all five for me, mm. but it's my least favorite. Aww. Yeah. Okay. This one definitely, in terms of first of all, let's talk about long wearing. Mm. Uh, I think it's really durable. Durable <laughs> machine, some more. It sounds like we are yeah. putting paint on our face suddenly. Yeah, I think it's really long wearing. Yes. I do agree. Uh, I can give it a four point five. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Uh, probably it's also because of the finish. It's not the oh, dewy yeah. finish. It's a matte finish. It's yeah. matte finish. In general, I find that it has a better control mm. in terms of um, the oiliness of the skin. Mm. So this one definitely more long wearing than Dior for me. <clears throat> mm. um, in terms of coverage, this one is, <laughs> I can't say this one is almost like plaster. It's very cow, you know, it's like kopi cow. Ah, this is kopi yes. cow. Yes. This one is kopi C. Kopi C. Ah, this is kopi cow. Yes. For a guy, right? Unless you are the... <laughs> you want people to know that you have something on your face. This one is you something... You have it flaunted. Yeah, okay, this one is something that I personally find it... I may find it a bit too uh, obvious that you're wearing foundation. Okay. okay. But in terms of coverage, this is the highest. Yes. Out of the... You know, uh, yeah, this is the highest this for me. This is the highest. Coverage. That means... That circles, acne, everything, whatsoever. Everything. Yeah, it's like, pah. <laughs> it's like I would say, if you have regrets in your life, this is the yeah. one to go for. So this one coverage damn high for me. This one yeah. I can give it a 4.5 or so. Yeah. Uh, oxidation, I think pretty decent. Color didn't really mm. run. Uh, mm. Pretty okay. 4.5 as well. Yeah. It's just that this is my least favorite in terms of its finish. But mm. it's also not fair because it's a matte finish. But having said that, mm. there's other matte finish yeah. foundation here. Okay. Which I find that in terms of matte finish, this one looks the least natural. Mm. Meaning that it doesn't have that... that it, It's a very flat skin tone. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you know then, what I mean? Then I will say this. I think I need to justify here. Mm. Flat skin tone because, you know, as gentlemen, usually you don't... Do oh, we don't contour whatsoever. You, you don't, yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't yeah. do the glam look. Correct, correct. Um, I will say that this one is really when you're going for full glam. Mm. Yeah, but if it's like an everyday thing, you really don't want to put too much, right? Then I say yeah, the other correct. two that we just reviewed earlier would be a good one correct. for you. Because we have other matte finish yes. as well, but they don't look as flat as Lauder for me. Moving from mm. American sitcom, not sitcom, like American movies that we move Golden on to K-drama drama here, oh. uh, Hera. Sarang Heo. Sarang Heo. <laughs> I can tell this too, right, really, it's really different in terms yes. of, it's almost like watching Hollywood movie, then you move on to watch K-drama in terms of how people look like in the movie. I tell you, yeah. K-drama, regrets in my life watching Crash, uh, crash Landing <laughs> crash on You, 3am, <laughs> therefore the next day, you use this one, okay? 
Yeah. You know, in terms of coverage, to me, this is the lightest, lightest out of the whole six. Hmm, interesting. Mm. So, uh, we are uh, talking about Hera Glow Lasting Foundation. Mm. It's really new. I think it's launched quite recently. Yeah, just about a, a week or two ago. Mm. Yeah. So, I would say this foundation, right, in terms of long lastingness, uh, actually, I give it one of the lowest. Uh, maybe a three for me. Still not the lowest. Uh, I given this at all. Oh. <laughs> um, but, when I give it a tree, I also ask myself, is it a bad tree? Because at the end of the day, right, I realise I don't see the foundation on my face. Eh. I don't know whether it's gone or it, it sits. You, you, so don't, you don't see the foundation on your face? Yeah, at the end of the day, I realise that, okay, the, the, the foundation of all these six, right, that sits the nicest for me is actually this one. Oh, Meaning nice. that once I apply, I can't even tell that I have foundation. Oh, interesting. So it's very natural looking, okay, which okay. I like. So at the end of the day, right, I also can't tell whether is it still there? <laughs> is it all gone? Okay. It feels like... Hey. So it blends in very, Yeah, it blends in nicely. really well. But okay. it's also the lightest in terms of coverage. Meaning that if you have spots and whatever, you mm. definitely need to consume. Mm. Uh, so long, long wearingness. I can give it a fall, like, to be frank. If your okay. skin the condition is not too bad, yeah. I guess it can last quite a while. Yeah. Especially if it doesn't uh, secrete a lot Ooh, of oil like okay. me. Okay. Probably it can last, uh, to me, it's a four. Uh, in terms of coverage, it's a three. Okay. You definitely need to conceal. Oxidation, I feel that the colour uh, didn't run for me. It's okay. okay, it's four. But I have to say, in terms of finish, this one looks the most natural to me. Mm -hmm. um, so, for me, um, I, I think by now you would know that I'm not really a fan of Korean products, mm. right? So, I think this is the first Korean foundation I've tried as well. Okay. Um, I think it speaks Korean. It, it really <laughs> it does. Uh, which is, you know... It, it's, it's like you're applying nothing on your face, like a tinted moisturizer, mm, like you have something, light. but nothing. So if you, I think this, this, this two, la, I would put them, I would lump them together. If you mm. have, if you have young skin and you don't typically have a lot of problem <laughs> or regrets in life, um, I think this is the one to go for. But it's definitely the kind of skin that you... If you want to achieve, like how the Koreans um, look mm. like, this would be the one to go yeah, for. Yeah, you, you actually brought up a very good point. Yeah. The result is like healthy skin. Yeah, healthy skin. Yeah, the result so, is like healthy skin. So if you, if you like that... I mean, not that I don't like healthy skin, but I mean, I can achieve healthy skin with this mm. one. Um, long wearing for me, I think this is a three. Okay. So this performs slightly better than this, but it's definitely not a shoe. Confirm, it's not an Estee Lauder. Mm. Um... Coverage wise, I would say this is possibly a three, slightly better than um CD for, uh, for mm. Dior. Uh, in terms of oxidation, oxidation maybe about I, I didn't see much of a much of a change at the end of the day. Mm. So I would say maybe it's about a three point five four okay. thereabouts. Yeah, okay. okay, I'll be generous. I'll give it a four. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, there's nothing I dislike about this, but there's nothing that I really you rave about it. Yeah, I would rave yeah. about it. So, we are now at our last two foundations. Mm -hmm. I'll start with um, Shiseido, which is the Synchro Skin Self Refresh, Refreshing, Refreshing <laughs> Foundation. Yes. Uh, can I say out of the six, right? I have the highest hope for this one. Oh, me too. Eh? Because it, it it sounds the most you know fancy. Yes. The technology. I keep reading the official page for information. I was watching YouTube. People keep having different interpretation oh. of self sync, self refreshing. Okay, a little bit background. Um, I, my very not very first uh, My most recent foundation before this mm. lot is actually a Shiseido, mm. but it's the Synchro Glow. Mm. Yeah, so it's kind of like in the same range, okay. but a different variant. Yeah. It's also the Synchro Skin okay. range, but that one is a glow finish, okay. and I really love it because um the finish is very natural. Mm. You know, it's just the Japanese skin, Japanese skin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this one um, um once again it's one of the matte finish. It's definitely not the glowy finish mm. uh out of the lot. Um. Okay, let's talk about the long wearingness. This one is definitely long wearing for me. Mm. Uh, end of the day, nothing runs, everything is perfect. Uh, in fact, it looks pretty decent, meaning that my skin, in terms of oil secretion, it doesn't look oily. So it kind of controls the oil really well. Ah, okay. I can give it almost a five. Wow. In terms of long wearingness. Uh, for guys who hate their oily skin, mm. who wants to keep their face matte throughout the whole day, yet you don't look like you have foundation, probably this is the best bet mm. to me. This is mm. the best bet. Uh, in terms of coverage, reasonably good coverage, uh, not the most. Not as good as uh, Lauder. Lauder mm. has the highest coverage for me. Mm. But I would say that if you have, like, once again, very little mass and you know, scars mm. or whatsoever, this one probably would be able to do the trick. To me, it's a four. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of oxidation, okay, this is the tricky thing. Um, we were talking about the colours that Shiseido Foundation has. Yeah. yeah, both of us 
we have the uh the same foundation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do realize that out of the lot of foundation that we have, right? This, she said it's the darkest color that we bought. Yeah. Weirdly, when we try it at the counter, it, it feels perfectly all right. Yes. It doesn't feel too dark. But when I went home and started using it, it feels mm. a bit dark for me. So uh, in terms of oxidation, right, at the end of the day, I would say it's not the color that I really want, even though it's self-synchronizing. So it, so it oxidizes, right? But not in the... Not in good grey tone. Yeah. But it's just that the colour is not the colour that I, I hope to see at yeah. the end of the day. Okay. So when I say it's self-refreshing, I think it doesn't run for sure. When I say run, like what yeah. you say, the, the, the shades are uh, uh, like around, around the, the, the creases and, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it definitely yeah. doesn't happen yeah. that way. In terms of colour, it just had this slightly odd colour that I couldn't put my finger on. So mm-hmm. I don't blame it on the brand. Probably I didn't buy the right colour. Okay. Maybe. Okay. But let's... Oxidation, maybe I give it a 3.5, okay. but it's still a very high performing foundation for yeah. me. Okay, so for me, what I really like about this, first of all, is the packaging. Mm. It's actually like um, you just kind of twist it and you open, so it's very clean. Yep. Out of all the packaging, I think I love this the most. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was very interesting for me is again, when I color match it, it looks perfect at the counter. When I wear it throughout the whole day, I noticed that perhaps the self-refreshing and the skin synchronizing comes in the fact that your skin also changes throughout the day. Yeah. So I will not say that it oxidizes in mm. that sense. So I'm going to go backwards in this. Uh, strangely, I'm beginning with oxidation first because you just spoke about that. Mm. Um, I wouldn't say that it oxidizes, but maybe because truly my skin going under the sun, you know, going for lunch, whatever it is, going to the gym. So it, it, it kind of syncs with the skin. Um, and no matter which part of the day I look at it, it may not be the usual face or the, the, the colour that I wish to see, but I will not have that differentiation mm, yes. on my neck yep. at any time of the day. Right. So I may feel like, hey, how come it looks like slightly different <laughs> yeah. in the morning? But then I see like, hey, but it's me. It's still then, okay. You, it's like, it's yeah, my skin yeah, tone. Correct, it's correct, correct. Yeah. So it just feels like maybe that's where that whole refreshing and synchronising thing is yes. from. Um, it stays fresh throughout the whole day. Mm-hmm. Coverage for me, I would say that this is a, I would say this is maybe a 4.5. Mm-hmm. So this was a 4, this is a 4.5 and this for me is the 5. So this is 4.5, slightly lesser than um, the, the, the Estee Lauder one. Uh, consistency is definitely not as thick. Um, it's still easy to, 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 to move the foundation on your face. Um, I would say use your fingers. It actually works a lot better. The finish is really beautiful and you need minimum setting powder to set your face with this mm, one. So yeah. it has a little bit of like from foundation turning into powder, yes. whereas this one you still need to set mm-hmm. yeah, your face. Um, in terms of um, coverage, I think coverage not much of an issue for me. I would say coverage, it can actually be almost like a 4.5. Mm. So all for me, I would say uh, long wearing 4.5, coverage 4.5. Very consistent. Yeah, oxidation maybe about, I, actually I would say it's a 5 lah because there's yeah. no at any point yeah. in time of the day I look different from my neck or any part of my true, face. True. Yes, okay, my last one is my holy grail. Yay! Okay. Like pom pom, right? <laughs> yeah, this is my holy grail. It's the Jojo Armani uh, Luminous Silk Foundation. I cannot remember how many I've gone through for mm. this one. And out of all the foundation, this is also my most expensive foundation. So this costs about 110, if I recall correctly, thereabouts. Okay. Definitely above 100. Um, it has lasted me throughout the whole day uh, with minimum setting powder. Uh, and going to the gym, going to yoga, mm. it has stayed. So I think you can wear this and last you anything between 16 to 24 hours. Although I do not recommend you wearing foundation 24 hours a day, but 16 hours, I don't think it's a problem, at least for me. Um, Coverage wise, I think this coverage for me would be about maybe a four. Uh, It's Mm. not the highest coverage, but it definitely gives you the radiance. Every time I use this, I always get comments like, oh my god, do you just go for a facial? Mm. Or like, oh my god, have you been masking for 30 days? So I always get comments like that when I use this. So this for me is my holy grail. Although Mm. it's the most expensive, clearly I've bought it again and again. Mm. Yeah. I tried this as well. Uh, It has very close performance uh, for me in terms of this and shoe. Mm. Uh, But what I like about this is really the finishing. Yes. It gets a little bit powdery. I think Mm. as for guys who really doesn't want their skin to look oily, Mm. uh, Probably out of the six, this is the best in terms of finish. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the opposite of all the glowy yes. and dewy stuff. Uh, in terms of texture, very light, uh, easy to apply, uh, long lastingness, long wearingness. I'll give it a good four, mm. uh, a very st- solid four for yeah. this one. Yeah. Coverage is the 
probably one of the lightest here, la, mm. I would say. Mm. Maybe on the, on the same par, on par with shoe. Yeah, I think I keep so. comparing shoe and Armani mm. because they really, for me, is very similar, except for the finish. Yes. Shoe is slightly on the dewy side. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so in terms of coverage, uh, I guess... Like, once again, if your skin is decent, like what you said, I guess you can cover most of the things. I can give it a 4 as mm. well. Mm. Uh, in terms of oxidation, I don't see the color change pretty, oh, yeah. pretty well. Uh, I think color-wise, I have no issue with that. So I can give Me it too. a 4 as well. Mm. But I have to say, out of the 6, right, this is the only one without SPF, you realize? Yes. Yeah, this is the only one without SPF. And probably this is also the most expensive. Mm. 100 plus a bit. Uh, so... Extremely high performance, I would say. But if it was ask me why I buy this compared to the rest, it will be a close fight between Shu and Armani for me. I'm going to ask you. Yes. We reviewed six different foundations. Yep. So if you can only buy one foundation and you would repurchase again, which one will it be? This is an important <laughs> question. Take your time. Okay, I guess for me, mm. uh, I don't like the matte finish. Okay. Um, I really like skin to look healthy and natural. I will probably try a uh, shoe again. I'll okay. buy shoe again. So this is um, your choice. Yeah. You can tell this is really difficult for us, but I, I feel it's important to conclude the video in this manner so that um, you have our final thoughts, yeah, yeah, right? Correct. And if you have not watched the front and you come to <laughs> right at the end, lazy people, um, you the last know exactly, one minute. Yeah, you know exactly what we will go yeah. for, right? Mm. So for me, it's also very tough because um, I've... For me, foundation, right, it is not just about putting on your face. Mm. It is not about something that you put on your face. It reflects the mood that you have for the day. It reflects what you're going to do for the day. There are days where I want to wake up and I know I have something that I'm going to go in and I need to look like a warrior. So there is there, there are foundations okay. that I know I go in looking like a warrior. Okay. There are foundations I know, you know, it's all those days I want to Yeah, I want to be friendly. Yeah. I want to be like, you know, uh, yeah, there'll be foundations for that. And there'll be foundations that are like, yeah, they're, they're different things, you okay. know. So for me, I think the one that I'm likely to sort of repurchase at this point, it's very close. Um I think I'm going to go for a shoe as well. Uh, it's a shoe win. Yeah, I am pleasantly surprised um, that I'm going for a shoe because I've mentioned my holy grail, which is Amani. Um, I'm going for a shoe, reason being, it is very, very close to how the Amani feels like. I agree. Um, but what I like about shoe is that your makeup looks even more beautiful as the day goes by. Ding, ding. That, I think, is the reason whether you're going in with a warrior day, whether you're going in with a namaste day, whether you're going in with a huh, I'm your best friend day, you want to look fresh and good all the time. Yes. So I think for me, it would be a shoe. So hopefully that helps uh, with your selection as you move in to buy a new foundation for 2020. New face game on. <laughs> so we hope there's something for everyone. I mean, definitely foundation you have to try to get a sensing mm. of it and how it really feels on your skin. Yeah, so I think, you know, with this, I would love for you guys to leave some comments below. What yeah. are some of your favourite brands that your holy grail that you swear, uh, swear by, that you swear by, that perhaps you want us to either give it a shot, try, or there are new foundations out there that you're thinking, should I or should I not buy? You know, how does it work on Asian skin? How does it work on, like, people like you and I? We can so, be your team. Then. Yeah, we'll be happy to try it out for you, yeah? So leave a comment, or you can like the video, share with your friends. Yes, and Beauty in the Geek, we'll see you at the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.